Well, it's been a hot, long summer, and things are heating up in the studio for sure. We've got Jeff Timmons of 98 Degrees joining us now. Hey, Jeff, how are you? Hi, Alyssa. How are you? Good to see your face. Good. It's good to see you, too. We, we miss having you here in studio, but this will work for now. You've got a nice setup there. Where are you? I'm, in, I'm actually at home for once. Uh, you know, I... Uh, <laughs> I've been on the road with the group, of course. It's been a long summer for us, but we're thankful to be back out there doing our thing and, and happy to be here in Vegas doing the show tomorrow. So yes. uh, it's exciting for us. Okay, yeah, we're going to talk about that in a little bit. But you guys debuted a new song last week, Where Do You Want to Go? That's what you just heard. It's entered into the top 40, and that broke a record, Jeff. I know you know this. This makes 98 Degrees the band with the longest break in history 21 years between top 40 hits. I mean, that's just wild. How does that feel? I, I mean, we're honored. I mean, never did I think when I started this group with these guys that, you know, we hoped, but we never thought, you know, we'd be around this long doing this uh, and having this kind of success for in longevity like we have. So to be able to have the honor of being the longest, uh, you know, uh, time in between hit records for us, I mean, it's, it's totally, uh, you know, sort of a surreal thing for us. Definitely. I mean, w within that 20 year span, I mean, you're getting your original fan base and probably also their kids. That's got to be just wild. Yes, it, and soon grandkids. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know, no, it's cool. I mean, you know, look, we uh, we always have fun with it. I think, you know, one thing that we've learned throughout the years is, is to, to, to take it as it everything in stride and as things go. And, yeah. and for us to go out there and, and see, uh, you know, our fans more excited than ever, uh, it's a pretty exciting time for us for sure. Okay, so we can expect this new song and, of course, all your classic hits at your show at Mandalay Beach. Uh, tell us about the show. Just a lot of energy. I mean, look, we've, uh, we've all been cooped up for the last uh, year and a half, two years, so we're excited to get out there and, uh, you know, do our thing. We've got the new songs. We've got some remixes. We've got a great drummer with us, a great DJ, and, uh, you know, we just have fun with it. For sure. Um, you mentioned that you guys never expected this longevity. You hoped for it, but you didn't really expect it. Now, I've been noticing on your Twitter, you've been showing uh, some of your fellow boy bands some love, asking your followers, who are big 98 Degrees fans, to vote on their favorite Backstreet Boys songs, NSYNC songs. I mean, that's gotta be so fun for you to see what their answers are. Well, yeah, it is. And contrary to, you know, popular belief or what the media sort of spun back in the day, we weren't competitive with each other. I mean, we are all going through our own journeys and, and sort of had a, a mutual respect for each other's success and, and what we all kind of go through in the fraternity of being in one of these groups. So I love giving them the love. You know, we all been, we've all been doing sort of shows together. I know you had the, uh, the after party here in Vegas. You know, I did something with, uh, with AJ and Chris called ATCK. There's something called Backstink. But the goal is, to get all of us with our whole groups on a big, huge international tour. So that's why I'm kind of putting that out there. I've got my fingers crossed on that one. It would be my life dream to have all you guys on the top 40 charts again. <laughs> you know, I mean, I could just relive my childhood. But yeah, I mean, I'm sure everybody loves a good a superhero and villain story, which is what, where I'm sure all those competitive edge stories came from back in the day.